Running Fred is the latest title from Data Lord, who also brought us Falling Fred and the twisted puzzler Psycho Ban. This Falling Fred sequel retains much of the same charm and brutality that made the original so much fun. With addicting just one more try gameplay, simple and smooth aesthetics, and a nice dark sense of humor, this is definitely an auto runner that should not be missed out on. You play as Fred, a poor pathetic ginger fellow who's on the run from death itself. Somehow, he's ended up in the most horrible house of horrors imaginable, with plenty of over-the-top traps and lots of mean-looking sharp things just waiting to impale, crush, slice, dice, and grind Fred into a bloody paste. The randomness of these evil castles made them quite charming, and I often let out a sick cackle after the more amusing of Fred's deaths. Running across three speed boosters only to slam into a wall and literally explode brings a kind of cartoon delight to the game, despite the bloody nature of each death. The controls are simple. You tilt the device left and right to steer Fred down these chaotic corridors and hellish hallways, tapping the screen to jump and double jump. As you avoid traps, you'll collect special coins known as Scullies, which can be used to buy new or better abilities, such as a wall run or a wider coin collection range. You can also buy plenty of amusing costumes for the poor guy, though most of them are ludicrously expensive. Getting enough Scullies to buy anything of value is an endless exercise in patience, though you can always opt to buy extra Scullies through in-app purchases if you don't feel like grinding them out. The game is split into three main modes. The normal adventure mode castle progression with a linear set of levels, the endless mode with the randomized levels, and the special challenges which need to be unlocked in the normal mode. The adventure mode is literally just a big exercise in trial and error, as you will surely die off in trying to learn the layout of a level or as you're introduced to new never-before-seen hazards. All in all, this is an extremely fun game. It's not perfect and is very slow without IAP, but it's a solid runner with nice simple aesthetics and awesome music. Best of all, the game is available completely for free, so there's no harm in giving it a try. This has been Andrew with Appalicious.com, helping you find mobile apps you'll love.